What's crackalackin everybody and welcome back to what is another episode in Arceus's house right here. A place that we only come to when we're unboxing items that are so ridiculous, so rare, they need a pure white background to stand out from. So today, we are unboxing Japan and China's answer to the English Ultra Premium Collection Box. This right here is known as the 25th Anniversary Golden Box. And you already know, by looking at the front, this is like in ridiculous high quality packaging. Pikachu is on the front, 25th anniversary is all embossed on there. It is so sick. The gold cards are inside, a lot of gold exclusive items. This puppy right here, I honestly think, gives the English Ultra Premium Box such a run for its money, packaging wise. The only downside is there's no booster packs or like a lot of boosters inside of this one. Uh, but, everything else is insane. But do not worry, because I thought, not only are we going to unbox the golden box today, I can't get enough of that, let's open up not one, but six of the 25th anniversary Japanese celebration boosters, where inside of here, the only cards you can pull are the heritage cards from celebrations. I know what you're thinking, you're like, Ando, what's a heritage card? It's basically one of these bad boys. It could be the Shining Magikarp, maybe the base set Charizard, Gold Star Umbreon, but you could pull one of these in Japanese out of that booster and that's it. And something special about today's episode as well is I bought all these 25th anniversary packs on a website called Baiyi. And it's actually such a good service that for the first time, I think in my whole career, I emailed the website and I was like, guys, do you want to sponsor a video because this service you're running is actually the best thing in the world. So basically what it is, you can go and buy.com and you can look at Japanese exclusive websites like Yahoo Auction where they sell a lot of rare Pokemon singles and boosters, maybe Makari Card, they sell a lot of really sick like Japanese singles. And I know you're thinking, and I don't live in Japan, I can't buy those items. Well, buy.com, they give you their like warehouse in Japan's address so you can buy your stuff on Yahoo Auction, Makari Card, whatever buy your Pokemon card, ship it to the Bai warehouse in Japan, and then you'll get a notification on your phone saying, hey, it's arrived at our warehouse, and then they'll ship it from their warehouse to anywhere in the world where you live. For me, it takes uh, like a week. I usually do DHL. Uh, there's a few shipping options you can pick. But yeah, then the uh, boosters just rock up my house after buying them on like Yahoo Auction. I thought that was the sickest thing ever. So I felt like such a Pokemon card collector buying stuff from like Japanese websites. So, I reached out to them and I was like, do you want to sponsor today's video? They said yes, and they said, Ando, we're going to give you a special link. So for everyone or like new people that sign up to the buy uh, link in the description, you get a $20 coupon for your first like time buying something. Whether it be like a Pokemon single or booster pack, all you can do is sign up with the link in the description and you get a $20 voucher. It's a really sick service and I think you guys should just go check it out because I thought it was generally really, really cool and such a great thing to... I'd be able to buy Japanese products. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, before we crack into one of the best unboxings of 2021, I gotta say congratulations to this comment right here. You won an Evolving Skies booster box, a binder, and a pack of sleeves on my last video. And if you wanna win a booster box and a binder and pack of sleeves, all you have to do is drop a comment on today's video. I'll announce the winner in the next upload. But today, guys, we are unboxing the grand 25th anniversary golden box. It's gonna be a party. I don't know if this means one booster pack or one booster box. We'll find out. Um, but this is the front. It's got Pikachu, all the energies. Everything's embossed as well so you can feel like coming out of the box. Look at this though. The whole back of it is in English. It's also a uh, Japanese copyrighted item which is funny. So that's the back, back of the uh, golden box right here. Bit of a burnt yellow I want to say. I want to just break the seal. Let's try and do this all on camera. Get the uh, plastic open and see what we're greeted with. I'm curious what the unboxing process is like because the ultra premium in the English, that was really cool with the drawers and all that. So let's do this. Oh, yo, it looks good, doesn't it? Guys, this has made my absolute year. I, I knew this would be such a really, really cool uh, unboxing video, but to be honest, this is blowing me out the water. So the cardboard open, oh, okay. Okay, hold on to your seats, guys. If you haven't thumbs up the video, now is the time to do it. This right here is the... Oh, gosh, I, can't, I caught that pretty good. Is the Chinese Pokemon 25th Anniversary Golden Box. So you can see we've got the full arts right here. Jeez, you've got the golden coins, 
a... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's a ridiculous stack of cards. And then what's behind here? Deck box sleeves. Oh, that's an... Oh, that's the dice box. Then you got the deck box. And we got the binder. Okay. And then it looks like one individual uh, Chinese Pokemon Celebration Booster. Seriously, I like that's that's just one individual booster pack. I love that they give you a sample platter. They're like, we're not going to give you a booster box, but we'll give you one individual booster pack. Look how big that box is. What are they thinking? I'm storing 25 decks in here? Righty, so while I've got this super wide camera angle right here, I'm going to show off the playmat case. And believe it or not, that's actually a thing. Um, because if you want to take your golden playmat places, you don't want to damage it. So you've got to take it into your uh, golden box right here. 25th anniversary Pikachu. Exactly the same as the front. This is awesome. And it's magnetic too. Let's open it up actually. I probably destroyed all the resale value, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to keep all this anyway. And check this out. Look how cool this is. Oh, look at that. It's literally embossed as well. All in this really shiny gold sort of... I don't know how to describe it. Can you see it? The gold material? It's like glittery as well. It's crazy. Then this right here, it's a magnet form. So you can pop this open. Wow, it's felt. You're kidding me. Like as if something's this high quality. Oh geez. Okay, so you get a felt inside. It's all magnetic and that's where you keep the playmat. So apparently this is what we're supposed to keep inside of that really luxury. Oh my goodness. No wonder you got to keep it in its thing. Look how good that looks. It's Pikachu. It's, oh, it's the 25th anniversary logo. That looks fantastic. And depending on where you get it in the light, jeez, it's not too big either. So it would fit inside of your uh, carry case right there. I mean, for a box that contains one booster, it's like the never ending story. So you get a bunch of these coins as well. Um, this is gonna be hard to focus up on, but look at this, 25th anniversary Pikachu coin. There is a uh, quite a few different like Pokemon coin collectors out there. So I'm gonna take my time and show you guys these ones. You got the poison and damage counters. They've got my grubby fingerprints all over them now, but this is crazy. Because they're actual, look at this. Oh, it's like an Indiana Jones movie. This is the treasure. And then on the back, dude, they're all like coming out of the coin as well. That's gnarly. It literally is like a buried treasure or something. Then you also get your de uh, dice box, not the deck box. So it's the same material as what was the playmat holder was. It's got the magnetic logo and all that. I'm sure the felt's in there as well. But you're going to keep that there because look at this. The dice you get, pure. I want. I don't want to say they're golden, but they're maybe golden plated. Uh, maybe brass or something, bronze. But jeez, they're definitely metal. That's crazy. So yeah, full gold everything. How gnarly is this box? But then I know what you're thinking. Ando, you also get the sleeves for the ridiculous coins we're about to show you guys. So I'm gonna actually open these sleeves because one gripe that I actually already have with this box was that they didn't sleeve the main attraction. So I guess the reason, or my reason I really wanted it, obviously, it's for the full art cards. Like look at this, absolutely bananas. The texture's off the charts. It's such a gorgeous card. You got the exclusive logo right there. But guys, it wasn't sleeved in the box. It like just fell out. Did you see it at the beginning? So, that's one problem. I think, like, this one's not too bad because it's sort of wrapped in, I guess, a seal. It's not going to get too bad. But this one just fell out. So, it was in the plastic. Just take care if you do end up buying this box. But it is ridiculous. I'm going to sleeve it up right now. And I'm going to send this into PSA, I reckon. Because I would love to get this graded. And I'd also love to get my Metal Charizard and Pikachu graded as well. And my English Gold Full Arts. So, you remember this one in English? Jeez, this is so cool. So this is a Chinese Full Art Pikachu, 25th anniversary. For the lols, I'm probably going to have to pick up the Japanese version, just so I can say I've got all three of the gold Full Art cards. Now, let's open up this without damaging it. And I'm also like really curious as well, what's the uh, other cards they've included in here? Because you've obviously got the gold cards, which are ridiculous, and they're the main attractions. They're on the front of the box, but it didn't really show what was behind these cards. So I was surprised to see a whole deck right here. Look at that though. I, I think these ones are a little bit better than the English ones because of the stamp right there. Oh, put this one away because we don't want to damage these at all. Look at that. Look at that puppy. Oh, that's gnarly. Dude, this is crazy. Okay, so we got the Pokeball 25th anniversary and the Pikachu. My two gold full arts. I honestly don't care if we don't get anything for the rest of the video, but let's keep it moving. So it looks like we get a Pikachu 25th anniversary logo on that one as well. Dude, how many do we get actually? It looks like quite a few. It looks like three. So, 25th anniversary Pikachu. We're going to put these at the back because it's a V-Pole. We got one, two, and three. 
Is it gonna stop at three? No way, you get a VMAX chew as well? 25th anniversary, this is fantastic news, guys. Okay, we get a regular V Pikachu and a VMAX chew with the full art texture and a reverse. No way, shout out to Chonky Chew at the back. This could be the best thing we've opened all year. It's literally the 25th anniversary Pikachu box. Okay, we're not putting all these at the back in case there's heaps of them. No way, we get Raichu on top of that. And then what's following Raichu? It's going to be a potion. And I think these might be all trainer cards. They are, look at this. They've all got the 25th logo on there as well. Pokeball. This is bananas. Dude, so all the Sword and Shield-like cards right here. Pokey Kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then it's going to have like 6,000 of these Lightning-type energies. It is. That's bonkers. But they've all got the logo on there, so maybe they'll be like worth more down the track if you keep them. This is an amazing box. Let me know in the comment section though, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the English one? Or do you prefer the Japanese Chinese one? I'd be very curious. Now, let's not uh, end it there because we're gonna open up all of these boosters. Look at this. We've got a Chinese Pokemon Celebrations pack right here. Then we got our 25th anniversary Heritage cards right there. And we're gonna open up three Celebrations and see what we can't end it with. It's gonna be really, really fun. So, I'm curious what we get in this one though. I haven't actually got any of the Chinese celebration cards, so let's find out. Trim the top of that one off. And let's hope for a Golden Mew. Could you imagine if on the very first like Chinese pack I ever open, we get Golden Mew? So there's that energy card again. And then, oh, it looks like the same as Japanese. All got that beautiful reverse pattern with the border. Oh, a couple more cards than normal. Ah, uh, that laser etch. So this is like a rare reverse. That's not too bad. I'll take a laser etch Cosmog right there. So it basically, I think the Chinese and Japanese sets are identical by the looks of it. Not too shabby. And I'm not disappointed at all. Because guys, look what I bought. Shout out to Baiyi once again. The flipping best sponsor ever. We got a whole bunch or six of these 25th anniversary boosters. And these, you guys reckon, are the most fun pack openings ever. Because there's one card in there. And it's definitely going to be a Heritage card. We're going to pray for Charizard, Gold Star, Umbreon, or Shining Magic up. Three, two, one, boom! Oh, it's Birthday Pikachu! Again, I've actually already got this puppy, but that's okay. I don't care at all. We got plenty more boosters where that came from. Look at Birthday Pikachu. Oh, one of my favorites. I've actually already got this one in Japanese, as I mentioned before, so... I don't really care doubling up with this one. I'm definitely getting one of these graded, because I want to put it with the one I've already got. The original birthday Pikachu, I think that would be so special. Okay, second booster in, guys. What do you think we're gonna get? I reckon. Um, oh, what's a common one? Probably a Venusaur. The way we're going, we're gonna get another Venusaur. Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> That's not too shabby! That's actually fantastic! A Delta species, God of War EX, old school right there. Beautiful texture. So many people want to collect the Japanese over English. Like, that was the top comment in my Japanese opening. Everyone was like, Ando, I love Japanese cards. The way the texture, the quality of the card, it's so much better than English nowadays. And look at that. You can see the texture. It's crazy. Okay. God of War Old School EX, lowercase, and it's Delta Species, so a fire type. Put you at the back. Couple more to go. Four to go, though, guys. This is still looking good. Do you think we're going to get the Zard? Do you think this is going to... The golden box is going to... I don't know. Infiltrate the pools and make them better? Three, two, one. Boom! That's that's pretty good. Tapa Lele. I mean, I don't know what the ratio for a Japanese box is, but in English, this is a very, very rare card. It's one of the last cards in the entire Heritage Card set. Beautiful GX pool. 25th stamp right there. The confetti is everywhere. What do you think it's Apalele? It's a very hard card to get. Do you have it in English yet? Let me know. Good looking card. Okay. We're doing okay. I mean, these are decent pulls. I'm definitely not mad. Let's do the next one. We're about halfway through these packs right now. And I'd be curious what we get out of the English ones now that we're pulling all these. Can we do it? Come on, one of the three originals. Blastoise, Venusaur, or Charizard. Bow! Oh, Mewtwo EX! This is a card that I don't have in English and I need it so bad. You're kidding me. <laughs> this is a very rare card in English. Wow. I am stunned right now. That's a fantastic pull. Again, I don't know if Japan's got a different ratio to English, but if it's the same, we're doing amazing. Dude. <laughs> Old school EX. Is that a legendary treasure, isn't it, this card? I think so. 
That's bonkers though. You can see the texture again, guys. Look at that. It's called micro texture. And you can see it's so crystal clear. Mewtwo EX, I love you, bud. But I just want to keep finding out what's in these ones. The last two. The final two, guys. Careful not to trim the card up. Here we go. Three, two, one, pow! Oh, it's full of Reshiram as well! Look at that! Look at that texture! It's the first time the Reshiram in Japanese got that beautiful texture. It's obviously got the 25th logo as well. It's a stunner! What do you think is on the final pack? As usual, it's come down to the last one. Come on, guys. I need everyone to support me right now. I wouldn't mind a full-out Zekrom now that we got the Reshiram, but... Let's have a look. Let's not try and jinx it. Here we go. The final time we're going to use the snippers as well. Then we got three English ones. Three, two, one, four. I kind of ruined it. I saw the sparkle and I was like, that's not Charizard. It's a double up, guys. We have pulled this one earlier in the uh, Japanese opening, which, by the way, go check that out. It is another Mute EX, but I do love lowercase EX cards. Something about them really unlocks like a nostalgic part of my brain. I remember being on road trips and begging like dad for money to be able to buy this. And this is so cool. Just getting another one. Maybe I'll have to add this Mewtwo, I mean this Mew EX to the giveaway with uh, the booster box today. So whoever wins the booster box, I'll give you this one as well. Because I've got two of them now. That's crazy. Okay, the last part of the video. I know you're dead in the floor. You're like, Ando, we've unboxed the gold product. We've unboxed 25th anniversary boosters. A Chinese pack. You can't do too much more. I'm going to have a heart attack and die. Well, little Timmy, call the ER because you're coming soon. We're opening up three more celebration boosters. Let's get these puppies opened up. And hopefully, let's get a crazy heritage pull. But again, this is English, so you're definitely not guaranteed that by any means. It's a bit of a uh, ruthless one. Oh, that's pretty good. Flying Pikachu, always. My English celebration first pack, fantastic. Celebrations Pikachu, look at that. Flying Pikachu VMAX, you got the back. Then we're gonna go Dialga, Palkia. And already a Team Rockets admin. That's completely fine. A card I desperately needed up until recently. That's a big win. Persian, shout out to my boy. Okay, Team Rockets admin. Beautiful start. Heritage card and a VMAX. This is the second to last booster of the episode though. If you haven't clicked subscribe, definitely do it. I don't know how, but we're gonna try to get another Charizard today. I think that just made the opening. If I just get one of the most rare cards or Gold Star Umbreon, probably poo my pants. Open this up. There you guys go. Let's go one through the back. What can we do? There we go. Extended up Pikachu, one of my favorites. Pull, actually, let's put extended up Pikachu to the back. A Voltal, Exernius, and then. Oh my god, you're kidding me! A birthday Pikachu! This time in English. It'll make a fun recap, I think, but you can obviously, I think everyone right now can see the clear difference between an English heritage card and a Japanese one. There's a bit more going on with the Japanese ones. Pretty cool though. This is amazing. By the way, does anyone remember? We've got full art gold cards. Like that was the main part of today's video. Sheesh. Okay, final one. This is the last celebrations pack and then we'll have a recap. I know everyone's hanging out for that. There you guys go. I hope you get some good stuff in the codes. Merry Christmas. We've got a Mew, decent pull, and then Kyogre as the final pull. All right, let's have a recap. Oh my goodness me, guys. That was genuinely such a fun opening. I think there's something just so simple about those really epic and nice, beautiful 25th anniversary products. You also know that they're going to be worth the fortune down the road, even though they are on the expensive side now, like... Hold on, because those things are like, just something that you always look back on and go, wow, that was a cool 25th anniversary item. Now, I didn't actually rearrange these polls. I thought the way we did the uh, recap was actually pretty solid. So, we're going to start off with the most recent. We got Birthday Pikachu right there. Then we got the beautiful Extended Art English one. So, I think it's important, guys, take note of how the English do their cards right now. Because we're soon going to have a look at the Heritage List of Japanese ones. Very, very cool, because they're uh, a little bit different. As you can see... Sparkle around the edges. The whole card, beautiful micro texture across the whole thing. I mean, English has that as well, but it's a lot more prominent on these Japanese ones. Beautiful full up Reshiram. Mewtwo EX, that's the highlight for me personally. Sapalele GX, Gardevoir EX on the Delta species. Look at the texture though. It's literally like light up lights behind him. Birthday Pikachu. I mean, you can clearly see, if you want to see the difference between a Japanese and English, 
Let's have a look. Which one do you prefer? There's the texture on- oh gosh, the camera doesn't like that. The texture on both of them. Just- I don't know, something about the high quality, uh, birthday Pikachu sparkly gold print? A lot more going on, it's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll stop comparing them. Then we've got the reverse Pikachu 25th anniversary, the Max Chonky Chew right there, and the V-Chew. And then guys, after we got all these Pikachu V cards, the two main attractions, I think a lot of the reason people love this box, it's these gold cards, which come with the beautiful gold sleeves by the way. Shout out to these things, and I'm not taking them out, like this is what I'm gonna send to PSA in, but Pokeball full art card, 25th logo, Jeez, it's gonna look sick. I hope these are PSA 10. I can't see any print lines, which is good news. And that's the highlight. The Pikachu full like gold card. I collect so many Pikachus. I've got them all graded. Uh, I really pride myself in these like non-English uh, chew collections. So it's gonna look awesome. If we can nap this one in Gem Mint 10, it can go my 15th anniversary full lot. So we can compare those two, but hopefully that that's like the case, but have a fantastic day. Make sure you leave a comment, enter the giveaway. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Drop a like, subscribe, and most of all, keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then.